oysters are bivalves. They're um, important bivalves because they're they're consumed by people amongst other animals. So there's two parts of the shell, two valves. There's, yeah, so oysters are more or less uh, filter feeders, pulling water in, uh, uh, filtering out the particles in the water, phytoplankton, and then pumping water out. Oysters have a long history in Humboldt Bay. Um, way back uh, early 1800s, Native Americans uh, harvested the native oyster here in Humboldt Bay. The native oyster um, now is very rare within Humboldt Bay and uh, the oyster industry has uh, taken to uh, growing the Japanese oyster, non-native species here in the bay, um, mostly in floating pens on the surface of the water, whereas uh, older style harvesting techniques um, pull them up off the bottom. Okay, so. Um, so now it's, it's a much more uh, sort of friendly, environmentally friendly technique that's used to culture the, the oysters in these floating pens um, along the surface uh, and you can see those off the Samoa Bridge here in Humboldt. Humboldt Bay has uh, uh, very good water quality in, in general. Um, we have a what most folks would consider a relatively pristine bay in terms of the water conditions here. Um, that's great for growing oysters because of course oysters are are, are filter feeders and they concentrate the, the particles out of the water, the, the phytoplankton and other materials including bacteria. And since oysters are, are oftentimes eaten raw by people, um, the water quality is absolutely critical. I started uh, farming oysters when I was going to Humboldt State in 1990. I've worked here at this farm since 1990. We grow two types of oysters. Mm -hmm. So we grow uh, a Kumamoto oyster, mm -hmm. we grow a Pacific oyster, and we grow two variations of the Pacific oyster. The Kumos we sell about 480, 500,000 dozen. The Pacifics we grow anywhere from about um, 40,000 gallons. And on any given year, we produce about 50 to 70, 75 percent of the oysters in the state. Humble Bay is a great place to farm oysters because it's, I use the Goldilocks syndrome. It's kind of right in the middle, just yep. right. We're right in the middle of a very productive part of the ocean, a part of the coast. Mm -hmm. And so we have good water quality, we have good production, and it's just right. It's not too cold, it's not too cold, it's not too warm. One of the things we have here is we have a, a really capable and willing um, community that supports the, the collection system development, mm -hmm. the wastewater treatment plants, they care about water quality, the tribs that run into the bay, all the aspects that make for good water quality. We have that community that supports that here in Humboldt Bay. Nice. So consequently, we don't have to fight to keep our water quality good. We're regulated to grow a product that you can eat raw. Okay, raw protein. So when you go out in the marketplace, there's not a whole lot of raw protein out there. and you can eat a raw oyster out of Humboldt Bay literally 95% of the time. Oysters are the oldest domestic animal in the world. We spawn them in the hatchery. They're allowed to develop to where they're hardy enough, which is about a half of a millimeter, about the size of a period on a printed page. And then we put them in a truck and we bring them to Eureka. And we put them out in the bay. And then once they're in the bay, they grow very, very quickly. They'll grow from a half a millimeter to five millimeters in really two months. The, the way the oyster industry in Humboldt Bay helps our economy is that we grow a product here and we sell it outside of the area and the money is brought back to our economy. And the other thing is it's a, we've made, as a community, made this huge investment in our water quality. It's a perfect fit. We've, we've invested that money to, to make the bay's water quality mm -hmm. fantastic. This industry fits very well with that, and it's and it's a sustainable and, and environmentally it's pretty pretty benign. So we can have we, all the ecological functions in our bay, all the fish, all the habitat. Oysters work well as habitat, so we get it's kind of a a benefit on, on multiple levels.